here's the reason you were born wealthy. Well, we all were. We were all born with everything we needed to manifest anything, wealth, um, possessions, absolutely anything at all, because we know it's all mindset. There is no difference in any human that's born except the mindset that we hold. And that mindset is always affected by who we grew up with, our families, our ancestry, our lineage, all of that. But we have to also be willing to move beyond the limitations that have existed um, before. We do that in our lives and we also do that in the world. And the world is moving through some challenging times now. And I said that, oh, I understand what's happening because we are shifting to become more of who we're meant to be, each of us, in different ways. And um, when I discovered that I had been given a mindset course, that didn't make sense to me. Go, how could that have happened? I was given everything for all, all these years and, and specifically in 2012, which is a whole nother story, but we've had evolutionary changes. And that was a time where a big shift happened in our world. And I was given this information. So when I put together um, when I was discovered this in 2021, and then I said, well, I've got to figure this out. I've got to see if that is true. Even though this information um, since 1988, I've been receiving this information since 1988, and it completely transformed my life and healed everything that had gone on mentally, physically, emotionally, everything, absolutely everything. And then I say to people, well, I've got a perfect mindset course for you. And they think, well, how does that happen? It happens because I downloaded, I wrote it all. We all come into the world to do something different and unique. My unique way was to move through my experiences, get the proof of them working, and then putting them together to give back to others, which is actually the way civilization, um, we always evolve. We all do that. Every single soul person born has the ability to do that when they access who they are, when they can change their minds. And that's what I had to do. But I did it every single day. So the, the day I wrote a message, I channeled a message and said, you were born wealthy. And I, I said, well, let me show you what that means. And especially right now, because the world is going to be shifting um, on financially in different ways. You're seeing it happening. You're seeing things about the banking and all of that. All the information that I received was talking about this period where we were being, we were going to move through these periods. However, we can attract as much abundance into our lives as we will allow ourselves to have. And having it means that we come into our authentic selves. It means that we decide to love who we are, that we move through our restrictions and limitations. And all of my work is only about that, taking each person to who they're meant to become, because it's always there. And there's no level, there's no place where you're done. You, there, there's always more you can do. I talked about this because I, when I was 26, I'm, I'm like I'm counseling this multimillionaire because he knew he wanted to do something else and, and then actually figured I had the information to give him. But when I got up this morning, I wrote my message. I did my meditation and wrote my message. And then I was guided to go back to 2012 because I knew it would be the information on this date. See, that was weird for me as well to understand that I had been given things in a very specific way and then on certain dates that we could all remember. But the fact is every single person has this memory of this vast um, um, consciousness that is within them and it's connected to everything that's come before. It's connected to their particular ancestors and their individual journey. The thing with money, that's one most people are concerned with, is that it's attached to whatever we believe about ourselves, because it's only energy. Everything is energy. So if you've blocked the energy of abundance from coming to you, that means you're not owning who you are. That means you just haven't uncovered your importance. And sometimes we don't do that because of what we live, because of what we went through. Not understanding that everything we experience has given us value. Everything that I've moved through in my life, which has been more than most people would ever want to know, has caused me to be able to bring this information forth now. But let me show you the message from this morning because you'll understand my process a little bit more. And um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of talk about it because, again, everything that I was given was about mindset. And this message in 2012, allow is a very powerful word 
when you make it an action verb in your physical life experience. When you allow your life experiences to unfold, you are also trusting in the integrity of your experiences. When you allow the circumstances and events of your life to be revealed to you, struggle is then eliminated. What that means is that we are given certain experiences and circumstances in our lives, but they all have value. And when we can access and look at the value we've gained, then we don't struggle anymore because we're understanding this is what I was supposed to move through. This is what I was supposed to do and bring to the world. Every single person, that's a shift in consciousness. Then in actuality, the opposite of allow is to struggle. And this is what most of us do. I just want to talk about that. I said that when we move into our authentic selves, the struggle is gone because we're connected to that God source within us that we were meant to bring forth. But a lot of times we will judge ourselves. We screwed it up. We did. I did that forever. So I understand. Yeah. Whatever you struggle, whenever you struggle for anything, you are keeping that particular desire away from you. You have to think about that one because it's energy again. You see, everything is directed by energy. So if I'm saying I got to have this and I'm saying I don't have it. <laughs> when you are in the process of struggle about anything, you are affirming you do not have it. And that therefore becomes your reality. When you are in that process of allowing, you are also in a state of peace. And we know that state of peace because when we move into that acceptance of who we are, we do feel peaceful. We're no longer struggling. We're no longer comparing ourselves to others. We're no longer um, being sensitive and to criticism or whatever might come our way. That's what happens. And it's always about moving into who you are meant to become. And that's what my work does. And, you know, I didn't talk about this for a long time. A lot of people don't um, own who they are because we we don't believe it. That's the main thing. We don't believe that we are the person to, to have done something or received something. Everyone is. It would not be in your consciousness. It would not be in your experience unless you were willing, you were supposed to achieve it. But the mindset is what has to be developed before you can embrace who you are. And that's when all the wealth comes. This is why I guide people to their authentic selves because I know that's when the flow of abundance will come to everyone. All right, guys, see you soon.